welcome to my crib. <laughs> so, for those of you who don't know, this is my last day as a high school science teacher. So this is my classroom. Uh, Marissa helped me set it up, and now she's here to help me break it back down one school year later. We're gonna talk to you about our first wedding that we got to uh, shoot. So it was really cool. Um, so Marissa was doing the photography, I was doing the video. It was a lot of fun. Learned a lot. Yes. Learned a lot. <laughs> Just about the entire day, the entire process of like a wedding. Mm -hmm. What are the things that we learned? What are the things? Um, you want to just break it down? Here are the four things that we learned at our first wedding that we got to do. Oh, before we get started on the four things that we learned, we're going to get started like cleaning up this classroom to the mess. What the heck is up with your desktop? <laughs> what? <laughs> Who does this? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I want to get ready for my PowerPoints. <laughs> it's just pictures. <laughs> It's all my files. <laughs> Let's go. Let's clean. The first thing that we learned while doing our first shoot for a wedding um, was... So the first thing we learned <laughs> was the importance of time and having like a really set schedule for every shot that you need to take throughout the whole wedding day. So like the arrival, the getting ready, the arrival. The ceremony, the entrance of the ceremony, the first kiss of the ceremony, the I do's. Yes. Um, and basically, the reception. Basically, everything that happens, like the first <laughs> yeah. everything. It's just like pre planning all of those shots, like knowing exactly when they're gonna happen so you make sure you get them. Yeah. Well, that way you can position yourself yeah. so you're in the right spot to get it. But what made it hard and a little more of a challenge was there was actually another videographer and photographer that were the main videographer and photographer people. We were yeah. just kind of there just um, uh, doing it as a gift for our friends. What the heck is that? So right now it would be <laughs> second period. So that's what made it a little bit of a challenge. It was a little because, bit of a challenge. Um, we didn't know this videographer and photographer personally so we had to introduce ourselves and make sure that they didn't feel... Don't erase that one. I don't want to erase that one. We had to make sure we introduced ourselves in a way that... Listen. Got to we had to make sure. <laughs> I got so we had to make sure that we doing all the work here. <laughs> so we had to make sure that we introduced ourselves to the their photographer and videographer without them feeling like we were trying to steal the show. Yeah, because we weren't trying to get like in there. So like another issue that we ran into is not an issue, a challenge that we faced was making sure that we gave them the better shot. Um, so we had to make sure that we were out of their way, out of their. Um, background so like if they were if they moved around a lot. I cleaned most hard. of this background. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so we had to make sure that we gave them the better shot um, and weren't in any of their in their backdrops, any of their like background while they're moving around. Which is very hard because there's basically four people moving, moving all at once all in. in the same area <laughs> around the same two people. <laughs> so like you're basically circling these people <laughs> with three other people behind you. <laughs> the second thing that we learned on our first wedding shoot was the importance of communication yeah. and teamwork. Um, there's there's actually grasshoppers, like there's crickets in my room because it rained. Because it rained and there's like... What do you mean? <laughs> it's okay, you're fine. Anyway, so yeah, so that was the second thing we learned. Communication and teamwork. So that really pushed our skills a lot because we had to make sure we were not getting in their way while still trying to get our own shots as well. So yeah. <laughs> that was tricky. Last day of school. <laughs> so number three was equipment. So we also learned <laughs> that we still have a lot to learn <laughs> about not only like positioning and timing, we have a lot to learn about equipment. So one of the things that I really need to focus on and that I've like started to kind of learn a little more about is lighting. So lighting is everything, especially during the reception. Now, even the ceremony, anytime you're not outside <laughs> during the daylight, lighting is a problem. So the ceremony had like some really like tungsten kind of lighting, it was really orange. Um, that was an interesting thing to work with. So presetting your camera, like in manual mode, and trying to figure out how to adjust the white balance for that. 
Yeah. <laughs> and uh, for me, specifically, um, audio. Um, it's very hard to yeah. get audio, especially in a wedding, because um, they're talking like far away from you. So you need to use microphones, lavs, things like that. I, would, I have the equipment, I just, I'm just too nervous to use you it. Everyone right? had to use it yet. Yeah. So I, for a while. <laughs> It just looks really. Mike only first got our cameras. <laughs> it just looks really complicated, all right. So I've been pushing that back, but I do need to step up my game and start learning how to do it because we're gonna need to. We're gonna need to. Ha we're gonna need to know how to use it. Yeah. So that. that and I had a flash for a while. Yeah, you did have it for a while, and it's a, and it's a good flash. I gotta flash. get it back. It's it's my Yeah, she borrowed it. So it's a good flash, but she just. It's, it's just all it's, about, it's, a, it's a comfort thing. It's a comfort thing because we're not used to it. Yeah. So we're like, oh, we'd rather not just rather not use it but we do need to learn how to do it because that's what they had they had lights yeah and they had the microphones and the audio and the lobs and all that so we need to step up our game and the fourth thing that we learned on our first wedding shoot is speed <laughs> <laughs> no but seriously though um yeah so speed super super I got my diploma. <laughs> so yeah, so speed, definitely very important. Um, so the wedding was on a Saturday. So Marissa and I were able to finish editing the pictures that we took and making a short video trailer for her wedding uh, by Monday. So two days later, we were able to have everything done for her, which is really crazy. Because normally it takes a long time. So yeah, it was, it was it was pretty intense, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, we spent a lot of time on them, but she actually really liked it, which is awesome, because it was our first time doing something like that. And yeah, so it was really cool. Normally it takes about one week to a couple months to get all that stuff done. And we were able to get it done in just two days. So that was pretty cool. So overall we learned a lot. Um, had a ton of fun because a lot of our friends were there too. Yeah. So it was so, basically just like a big party with a lot of It was a big friends. party. <laughs> it was a good time. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. The food was great. Good job. Yeah, food was amazing. The colors were awesome. Good yeah. colors choices. Uh -huh. good uh, the venue, the place that they had it the was nice. The venue was amazing. The reception nice, was beautiful. beautiful. Like a country golf club was amazing. The limo was cool too. Everything was just awesome. Everything was just really cool. Yeah, it was really nice. So it was just nice to be able to like share that moment and capture that moment for our friends. That's yeah. that's why we do what we do. Um, we're just basically capturing these moments that are happening right in front of us. It's pretty cool to be able to do that. So recap on what we learned on our first wedding shoot. Number one. Time and scheduling. Scheduling out every single shot, knowing beforehand where you need to be. Number two, communication and teamwork. You're going to need to have to talk with your client. You're gonna might need to talk to another photographer that might be coming in or another videographer that you do not know. So make sure you become friends before everything starts going down. Number three was equipment. So knowing yourself, knowing what you have, knowing what to, what you need to work with. That thing just fell. Knowing like know yourself in and out, and knowing the equipment that you need to have. Um, for any kind of scenario, any kind of lighting, any kind of situation. Number four, speed. Everybody likes their stuff delivered to them as fast as possible. Well, we're gonna get back to cleaning because there's a lot of stuff in here. Yeah, it's kind of hard to do this and clean. So, I hope right, this is helpful. I hope you learned something. Um, we're shooting a wedding soon. Keep all those things in mind. And so we are the Dos Cogos Locos. And remember to follow the coconut. See you guys next video.